Happy Thursday morning, everybody. The legend Louie in the house. <laughs> oh, Louie's a good dog. He's had his treats this morning. He's sitting up there like a king. <laughs> He's a good looking dog, ain't he? All right. Had the strangest thing happen to me yesterday. Almost called an emergency press conference yesterday. So I'm eating lunch and my phone rings and I, I see it's Don. Now I'm not going to tell you Don's last name and all that. Uh, some might be able to figure it out, but most people aren't going to know Don. And uh, I decide to answer while I'm eating lunch, just because I know Don. Don starts his conversation out with me, kind of floors me, shocks me. He goes, I don't want you to take this the wrong way. He says, please don't take this the wrong way. He says it like two times. I'm thinking, man, what happened? He goes, but you just like, you just really like that racing, don't you? I mean, you're, you're going to race your whole life. And I realized he's, uh, he's pissed. But then I immediately went into reverse psychology. I said, okay, you're not mad at me. You're mad at yourself for not having something to do. I said, well, what, what's wrong with you? Well, you're just going to be just like Tom. Now, you, you have to figure out who Tom is. You're going to be just like Tom. You're just going to race your whole life. And it dawned on me. This guy wanted to talk, but he was, he was taking it out on me. Don was mad at me because I like racing. And first of all, I said to him, I said, listen, I said, when I do social media, I only let you see what I want you to see. I do coffee with Kenny. I do the Kenny Wallace show. Uh, you know, we do Kenny conversation. I said, buddy, there's a lot more to me than just that damn social media. I said, I go to Cabo, I go to Key Largo, I race my dirt car, I like massages, I get in my hot tub, I have my family, I have my grandbabies, I go on a Cal Petty charity ride, I go with Rusty and Steven, you know, to Daytona Bike Week, I go to Sturgis. There's a lot more to me than just running that old race car. So. If you think all I'm gonna do is run that race car all the time. So I had to go and I had to go into a uh, repair mode with this guy. He's mad at me because I like racing. And then I responded to him. I said, well, if you're pissed at me because you're mad, you're mad at me because I like racing. And that's in your eyes, that's all I do, which is false. I do way more than just race. I said, why don't you look at Richard Petty? I said, that son of a bitch is 80-something years old, and he's in a NASCAR Cup garage every week. Call him up, chew his ass out. Now, the only reason that I had an inkling of what he's talking about is uh, <laughs> I've got a brother that's pissed at me because I like racing still. So... I guess here's, here's the bottom line. Um, when you have a friend or you have a family member that really likes doing something, don't get mad at them because they like doing something and you don't got anything to do. Uh, all my son-in-laws, I'll go with a Justin right away. Justin loves cornhole. I mean, takes that shit serious. Every day <laughs> we're up in the race shop and it's like we go, Justin to see this. And uh, somebody's talking about how nice of a shop I had. I said, yeah, takes a lot of work to keep my shop clean, but everything has a place, so it's kind of easy. It's easy for me to keep my shop clean because everything had its place, has its place. Justin goes, well, when I see this shop, I see a, a cornhole place. And I laughed and I was happy for him because I've sat down here on my big screen TV and me and Justin watch real cornhole championships and I know he loves it. 
And, and see how I come across? I know he loves it. And, and Brody, Brody loves these outlaw carts, loves it. I mean, and, and then Jacob, my oldest son-in-law, he just loves being a really good dad. And he's a great golfer. And he's a hell of an engineer. And when I see somebody that loves something, it doesn't annoy me like it does some of you. I'm happy for them. And it, and it dawned on me that there goes that shaking stuff again. So it dawns on me that the people that get mad at people because they like something, it means their, their life is incomplete. So if you're mad at me because I like racing so much, you need to find something to do. Now, I could be mean, go, you need to find a life, but you need to find something to do. Don't get mad at me because I like racing. And furthermore, like coffee with Kenny, that, that's that much of my life. I do eight minutes in the morning. Shit, I sit on the couch for an hour and a half. I got a full day today. I'm going to the dermatologist at nine. Then at 10.30, I'm doing Kenny conversation with Ryan Blaney. Then Wimpy's coming up here. We're going to decal the car. I got a lot of shit to do. So, you know, we'll be going to Cabo. We'll be going to Volusia to race. Uh, I mean, so there's way more to me than just running that old race car. So, Don, <laughs> thank you for giving me good content because I got a brother that's pissed at me because all I do is race. But once again, I'm going to repeat myself. There's way more to Kenny Wallace than just racing. I, you, you can't race all the time. Once again, I'm going to tell you, I was in the hot tub last night. I love massages. I go to Cabo for vacation. I go to Key Largo. I go on the Cal Petty charity ride. I go with Rusty to Sturgis. I go with Rusty to Bike Week. Them grandbabies keep me busy. I'm doing shit all the time with them babies. So there's, there's just way more to me than that old race car. All right, now I hope, the, hope this helps some people. But man, I'll tell you what. I could tell that old boy was hurting. And he felt, com here, Tony Stewart said it right. Tony Stewart, when you go to the local tracks and he has his pit area all marked off because he's famous. Tony Stewart looks at me, he goes, you know, Herm? He says, nobody's afraid of you. They come up, they just chew your ass right out. I said, I know. What's up with that? He goes, they feel comfortable around you. Tony's right. I have people that come up to me and chew my ass out. I have people that call me up and chew my ass out. The fuck's up with that? <laughs> I'm happy. I'm super happy. So you all, here's my advice to you. Find something to do and make yourself happy. That's what life's all about. We're put on earth to do things. I get excited to drink coffee. I get excited to go to the dermatologist. I'm excited to interview Dan Ryan Blaney at 1030. And then I'm gonna be really excited to eat lunch. Where am I gonna eat lunch at today? And my car's getting decaled today. And I'm gonna do a video of the car and thank all my sponsors. And <laughs>